movie! <laughs> Welcome back to Cave Dave Science, the only show on the internet that thinks dinosaurs became extinct because humans kept giving them people food, made them wear clothes, and insisted on treating them like they were children and referred to themselves as pet parents. I'm your host, Groovy Groovy Jazzy Funky Bounce Ounce Dance as we Dr. Dave, Dip Trip, Flip Fantasia. Today's episode is The Worm. Scotty Too Hottie somehow found more fame piggybacking off of the name Annalinda Lumbricus than the name Lawler when he was partnered up with Jerry the King's son. But in reality, Scotty should be more thankful to the wave rather than the worm because Oscillation is the name of the game that gives his signature move, the worm, its oomph. Oscillation does so much for physics. For example, a pendulum wouldn't mean a thing because without oscillation, it wouldn't have that swing. Oscillation also makes springs get sprung and it makes water wiggle the way that it do. And the worm definitely rides that wave as well. Now the way oscillation works is simple. As we know from physics, an object at rest stays with its resting twitch face until it is moved from an outside force. But after that movement, objects want to go right back to their rest state as soon as possible, even if that outside source is strong with the force. Star Wars reference, cause I'm nerdy. But when there's still energy leftovers after the object goes back home, the extra energy just has to go somewhere. And thus, our object can't go back to rest and instead moves in the opposite direction, causing an equal and opposite reaction that goes like this. Rolling with the homies. Rolling with the homies. Now that is oscillation. However, as that wave ripples forward, some of that energy keeping our object from resting is being used to drive the wave outward, which will eventually disperse all that energy and allows our object to go back to rest. And this is the exact strategy behind the worm. Using that momentum in waveform and turning it into a downward chop is Scott Too Hot Taylor made to drop some hot science. So there you have it, doing the worm is a lot more like doing the wave. And doing the wave is apparently frowned upon like a beach ball if you're in the audience of a WWE show. So I guess, uh, just leave it in the ring. Unless of course you're Dennis Rodman, because that's one wrestling worm that nobody needs. Ah.